Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had yesterday, of course, the Foot versus Fire promo team objectives, SBCs, and content all released in the game. But we were missing a lot of things that we also thought that we were going to see as a part of this promo, right? The five star weak foot and five star skill move upgrades, we kind of read that incorrectly, right? EA led us to believe that all of the cards that were going to be released were five star skills or five star weak foot, and that was not exactly the case. So I want to talk about that. And since yesterday didn't actually excite the game like we thought that it was going to right the cards are nice let's not get it wrong the cards are very nice the upgrades are actually huge and some of these cards might have very interesting uh fire versus ice items uh as the ice cards still come out on monday so there's a lot to talk about with that but the pack weight on these cards is really high so i'm wondering if this is again with icon swaps coming soon maybe even today prime icons still have not been released but they're searchable on the transfer market um when that stuff does come, since these cards have such a high pack weight, just like we saw last year with Team of the Group Stage, is that going to bring the market down? So let's go over all the content from yesterday, take a look at some of these prices and maybe what even to expect today on Saturday as well. First of all, the big SBC that we were leaked and actually received yesterday, well, two of them, but the first one, Christian Pulisic, right? We knew that Pulisic was going to be coming out. That was a leak. He got two different versions, right? The fire and the ice for all the SBCs and objectives that we get throughout this promo. I think we're going to be able to choose uh, from the fire or ice version. Now, a lot of people are choosing the fire Pulisic for that five-star weak foot and his pretty incredible shooting stats. 94 positioning, 87 finishing, and 91 shot power looks pretty good. I kind of like the uh, five-star skill Pulisic personally um, because the passing on the fire version is so bad. And I just want to use a five-star skills Pulisic, right? I'm going to end up doing this item. Let me know which one you're going to do in the comments down below. But this SBC is not that expensive, and it's got a lot of people doing it, right? It's about 120,000 coins, um, which, you know, of course, 83, 84, and 85 rated squads is decently craftable. So um, I think that a lot of people are doing that. 79% upvote on Footbin, and the cards have a lot of thumbs up on them as well. So that was a decent SPC. A lot of Prem left wings dropped, and a lot of left wings on the game in general dropped because, again, we had the. We already knew this was coming, but the actual release of the SPC happened with the Vinny Jr. POTM coming in at about 750,000 to 800,000 coins. A lot of people are going to end up doing this as a starter left wing in their team. It's out for 27 days. It's basically out until 2022. People are going to be crafting this over this next month. And, you know, you did see a bit of a bounce back on these informs and on the group stage version of Vinny Jr. But I think what you're going to see with these cards is a slow drop off, right? Because I still think that most people are going to try to craft the 87 Vinny Jr., as he is out, like if people can say, I'm going to do Vinny Jr. for like 300,000 coins by crafting, uh, you know, this SBC over a month's time, then they're absolutely going to do it. So I would think that especially for a team of the group stage, maybe his informs, those would kind of have like a slow decline over the next month anyway, as people transition and get this SBC done for the highest rated Vinny that is in the game. So those are kind of my thoughts on that. And we got to take a look at this fire team, right? These fire cards and what I really want to come back to uh, with this promo team and with these cards on the market is uh, the pack weight on these guys is very, very high. Now, right now, you can actually search for them in the game, which is kind of, uh, it kind of sucks. I don't know why EA didn't add the card design in. Um, but right now, these, these cards started off very cheap in the first hour. They got uh, they got packed. This Correa went from 330, 350,000 coins uh, all the way up to 520K as people saw these brand new cards. And I think right away as well, everyone expected them to have a five-star weak foot or five-star skills, um, which they, of course, did not have. Uh, and you know, Correa went from like 350 to 520. Now he's back down at 340. The thing with these cards is they're fluctuating a lot. The upgrades on them are very, very nice. Like Correa got a massive upgrade. He looks insane. Um, you know, the, all of the cards. Kunde looks really, really good as well. But I just think that when people saw these items say they were just a bit taken back because they expected the five-star weak foot or the five-star skills. Uh, or the five-star Wii foot specifically on these fire items, and that is that is not what we had. Now, I think there were only two cards that were released yesterday that actually had a skill move upgrade, uh, and one of those was Valverde, right? Valverde has got a four-star, four-star card now, uh, and then Gabriel Jesus 
has the five star skills on his item. So Gabriel Jesus is actually very, very expensive. He's like 1.5 mil, 1.6 mil. Uh, at the moment. So these cards, you know, they're supplied a lot though, which is why, in my opinion, it's going to be very interesting this weekend since there's another card that is going to come out. Um, as we take like, if we zoom out here and we look at this little fire and ice screen that they have right here for Gabriel Jesus, um, this is how this promo is going to work, right? We had an 89 Jesus today um, with a boosted skill moves to five star. And basically, there's going to be another one that's going to have a different dynamic image and slightly different stats, as we can see for this other 89 Gabriel Jesus, that these are going to come out, the ice versions on Monday. He has less pace, but more shooting. And it also makes us wonder, since they upgraded the skill moves on Gabriel Jesus's fire card, are they going to upgrade the weak foot on his ice card? So we're kind of curious to see if that does happen. That would make a Gabriel Jesus as a striker very interesting if he had a, a five-star weak foot or a four-star weak foot even from his usual three-star. A little bit less pace than his fire card, but on the ice, he has 91 shooting. So that's kind of curious. I'm interested to see how that was. But like, as you see with the Everton card, as you see with the Tagliafico that are both in objectives, right? Again, they talk about this versus promo is all about the rivalry, right? Brazil versus Argentina. So um, one of your Everton has higher shooting, less passing, just like Pulisic. And one of your Tagliaficos has more dribbling and le and more less dribbling and more defense or less defense and more dribbling. So I just feel like a lot of people yesterday, without the five-star skill moves that we thought we were going to see, some people were just uh, a bit, I guess, underwhelmed. Underwhelmed would probably be the right word for how they feel about this promo, right? Adama Traore right now in this game, uh, 220,000 coins at the moment when I'm looking at this card, he really needed that weak foot upgrade, right? Two-star weak foot. So at the moment, this is kind of like, okay, it's still like we got some really nice promo cards, but people are slightly underwhelmed um, with just the lack of that skill mover weak foot upgrade. So since that was the case, a lot of these cards have been moving on the market, but a lot of out of packs cards moved like crazy on the market as well. Uh, I bought three Foden's at 315, 325,000 coins for those three absolutely exploded. A lot of your team in the group stages did really, really well out of packs too. Anthony went up like 30K, Kiesa went up like 25,000 coins. So what you saw was basically the opposite of what we expected, right? There was a ton of panic selling heading into the content drop, but people went out after that and ended up buying up cards uh, from other promos, right? A lot of the market rebounded, the out of pack special cards rebounded because these cards that we got with the foot fire, the versus fire cards were just not as exciting. So we continue to have lightning rounds though. And we continue to have a lot of promo cards that are out in this game. And again, the pack weight, as I said, 11% for a foot versus fire player that is like literally double almost triple right if you imagine if you remember last week we had the team of the group stage cards were like four percent out of a 125k pack these are 11 percent per 125k pack so a lot of these cards have fluctuated in price again i mentioned they were they were low first hour um i don't i don't know if i'm going to be trading with these guys uh tonight i really don't know if i am because right now i mean correa was this actually adama Traoria was is 212 or two what is he right now? Like 220, he actually is. He was down to 208 just a little bit ago. So as these cards get rare, I'm recording this um, at about, what is this right now? This is about midnight UK. It's around, around ish midnight UK, maybe a couple hours before that. Like it is 5 15 p.m. Eastern, which I believe is actually only 10 15 p.m. UK. My math is terrible. 10 or 11 p.m. UK. I'm recording this a bit early. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to trade with these cards into the nighttime, right? One of the only ones that I would look at would be like a Kunde. Um, I would look at a, a Correa, just your most hyped cards. I think actually Kunde might be slightly rising a little bit because he was just uh 370 or 365. And I think now he's about 380. So he's rising slightly, but with the supply that we have on these cards, there might be a bit of a, a push into today on Saturday. You might have a bit of a rise in price, but then after that, I think you might see them drop because we're going to have more lightning rounds. And it all depends on when EA dropped lightning rounds too, right? They've been dropping these random lightning rounds all last week with team of the group stage. So I, I think the moral of the story is basically all these cards, even though they seem kind of cheap with the high pack supply, I think they are going to go a bit lower. Um, and I think that's going to set the stage for the way this market might end up going too. I know you had a lot of cards rebound, like team of the group stages, like we mentioned, like Anthony was 135,000 coins yesterday, right before content. And right now he's right around 160. Um, we might have, like we talked about 
last week, this might be our time where we see that big market drop off in December, um, headed towards what we think might be the normal foot freeze promo next week, right? We have icon swaps that are in the code, right? We take we took a look at that pack code last night on the video. Icon swaps did not drop. I mean, icon swaps could drop anytime between this weekend, today on Saturday, all the way into next weekend, right? We don't really know um, when they're going to drop that, but it is in the game and in the code. And again, also we have prime icons. A lot of people were speculating prime icons would be coming out. They didn't. So icons bounced back nice. Um, you know, I, I bought this Del Piero even a little bit high, right? I was trying to get this out at 800. He's about 790 right now. I just ended up selling him. I got him at 740, but he was as low as 727,000 coins. So again, right now, I think what's very interesting is that this promo was not as hyped as we thought it was going to be. We did get a good SBC. We've got Vinny Jr. Player of the Month, and these cards have really high pack supply. So I'm curious to see what happens throughout the rest of this weekend. Now, today on Saturday, a couple things to keep an eye out for as well. Some people still think that we're going to be getting a uh, Condogbia or Vasquez showdown. And I mean, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know if this SBC is coming because literally this game would be 24 hours after the SBC. So I don't know if it's going to be a flash SBC for like a showdown between Condogbia and Vasquez because that was leaked and we talked about it earlier in the week. I don't know if that's going to be coming. Uh, we still have the mid Keen and Baby Vieira SBC rumors that are out there and then a Mertens SBC. What I think the highest probability of content today on Saturday would be the Mertens SBC uh, and that would be another player pick item uh, that would be pretty interesting, right? The Serie A does not get a lot of love at the moment in these promo teams. There's only one Serie A card that is in this promo side, um, and that is Pereira, who is the cheapest card as a part of the team. So uh, a Mertens SBC could move a little bit of the market, but again, the high pack weight on these cards discourages me a little bit, and I think that is going to drop the market off, especially once we get icon swaps and uh, we do get those prime icons on the game as well. But if none of those things are coming this weekend, which we really don't know, I would just kind of be at the ready for that. Um, then I think it's probably just going to be Kind of like last weekend, right? Last weekend was like, okay, we had some good content. You're going to be able to trade with these new cards on fluctuations uh, and and on the flips. Like actually, Mbabu is one. I mean, people are going to want to try these cards out because the upgrades are massive. They're very nice special cards. Like Mbabu with a really, really big upgrade. He's 100,000 coins, which seems decently cheap. Um, but again, I think it really comes down to when Icon Swaps drops and when they put the Prime Icons into packs as well as to how that's going to actually affect the whole entire market as a whole. So it, feel, it just felt like yesterday that we had a lot of content um, that was expected and we didn't actually, we didn't actually see all of it drop, which was a slight bit unfortunate. And again, I think we just, we just got it wrong, right? I think we saw EA Sports put out this webpage, right? And the picture of Pulisic where they showed like Pulisic, you know, head to head, uh, his two like kind of faces head to head. And we kind of assumed and EA even put it out on their Instagram about the five star skills versus five star weak foot. And we assumed that that was the, like the whole premise of the whole promo, but instead it was basically just for the Pulisic SBC, which that's where the biggest disappointment came in, uh, to play yesterday. Right? So again, they're saying that this is, um, the versus fire and ice, which will give a foot versus player two unique permanent upgrades and item designs, which to be completely honest, when we look at a player like this Gabriel Jesus on the foot menus and we see the upgrades or we look at Tagliafico or Everton, it really just feels like Rule Breakers 2.0, right? It feels like we're getting Rule Breakers cards where, okay, one version here, they're going to boost the pace on Gabriel Jesus. Oh, but on this other version, we're going to boost the shooting, right? And maybe they throw in a skill or weak foot upgrade in there on a few of the cards. So I think that's why most people yesterday were just a little bit, I mean, surprised in a bad way. Uh, with how the market and how the game played out. Now, again, the cards do look really good. Uh, but again, what's going to happen over the weekend, right? Is Icon Swaps going to be this weekend, next weekend? There's a lot of unknowns with that as well. Uh, SBC Fodder, right? I feel like yesterday, if you weren't really hyped about the new cards, you probably just went out and were working on the Vinny Jr. Player of the Month, or you did the Pulisic. Fodder at the moment is really not moved. SBC Fodder cards are kind of just chilling. The one thing that this Vinny Jr. Player of the Month as I think a lot of people are still doing it. One of the things he requires is informs. He requires like five informs, I think, out of the seven uh, squads 
to complete the SBC? I believe, yeah, it's, I think it's five informs, maybe even six informs. It's kind of crazy. Um, so your informs might rise up in price a little bit, but this fodder hasn't moved much. I mean, 86s were 13K yesterday. They're still 12 and a half to 13,000 coins. It's going to take more SBCs. If you have SBC fodder that you've invested in, it's going to take more SBCs and icon upgrade SBC, which to me personally, I think we're due for an icon upgrade because we haven't had one of those in over a week since um, Black Friday ended with the signature signings promo. I think we're due another one of those, but uh, which SBCs are going to be, right? Maybe a base mid base icon player pick that would be crazy i don't think they would skip right to a mid icon upgrade pack so i mean i think some of that stuff is in the works and that's why i think that with some of these bounce backs on the market like marquinhos being 500,000 coins right now in 498 500k that still is going higher at the moment into the nighttime some of your signings have bounced back ben Yedder was 850 is now 936 yorente is 700k he was 570 earlier yesterday your numbers up cards Ter Stegen is back up with the hype of Kunde. Um, you know, Militao was 584 with the Kunde links as well, right? A lot, a lot of hype on that card. Jota is down because of Pulisic. Um, you know, some of these, these cards that are up in price, again, like I sold Foden's at 370. Um, Klosterman's up a lot because of the, the very cheap left back in Schultz, right? Which Schultz also destroyed the price of um, Davies. Davies with 300,000 coins, now he's 214. So a big drop off for Schultz. Uh, out, you know, again, in a safe in a safe mindset, if you want to take the cash on some of the stuff that went up a lot yesterday, uh, then you can absolutely do that if you want to be safe about it. And again, talking icons as well, a lot of icons are still down because people know that that uh, icon swaps is coming. People know that primes are getting released and primes are going to be expensive. So a lot of icons are still down. If you take a look at the index, I mean, we were at 82 points in the midweek last week. And right now we are at 75, which is up from where we were. Um, but icons are still very, very down in price as most people are expecting the primes and the swaps to be released um, very, very soon. So I, I don't mind taking the cash on some of those cards, absolutely, uh, just because it seems safe and it seems like since this market is up a little bit that you could do that and you probably would not lose too much, um, you know, going down, of course, in price a little bit out of this weekend into this next week. I wonder how the content's going to be. So if they're releasing an SBC for foot versus and they have to release two items, I wonder if the content's going to be really rolling this week and they're going to do a lot of player SBCs. It would seem like it'd be harder for them to do that, but uh, we'll have to see how that rolls out this week. Uh, one other thing, trend player of the month. Uh, the SBC was, you know, dropped or the SBC was not dropped. EA tweeted out that uh, Trent won player of the month and they're saying they're delaying his SBC for a week. So they told us what card we're getting, which is the third 89 rated version of Trent. You can see the downvotes on this Trent card. Nobody likes it, right? It's the third 89 rated version of Trent that we've gotten. So nobody's really hyped about it. But that SBC is going to be dropping not um, this week. It's going to be next Friday. It's going to be next Friday. We're going to get that Trent Player of the Month that probably not too many people will be interested in. So I'm curious about a Mertens card today. I'm curious about um, Icon Swaps. I think in my gut, I really feel like the Icon Swaps and the Prime Icons might not be until next week. If we're actually getting the real Foot Freeze promo, like some people are saying, that might be next week. And last year with Foot Freeze, we had Icon Swaps and Prime Icons both involved. So... Uh, we might not get that until then, but still there's a, there's an outside chance that it could be today. So we're going to keep watching the market on these brand new cards. They're probably going to, you know, there's going to be some fluctuations for flips, but seeing that some of these cards are going up right now, as I'm recording this 370 for Korea, like with the supply being as high as it is. And I know that they're probably going to run some late, uh, late night landing rounds today on, you know, early Saturday morning or late Friday night, whatever time zone you're in maybe even on Saturday into the day, like they just run lightning rounds whenever they want to now. So that's one thing that's scaring me a little bit from trading with some of these cards. They've got an 81 to 89 pack out at the moment. And then they've got all these other packs that are here until Saturday. So, you know, I'm going to be very careful trading with these cards, but I will take the opportunity to trade with some of the icons that have bounced back. If you're looking to make some coins anywhere, that could be a place uh, where you do that. And I'm curious to see if there's any panic selling on these cards today before 6 p.m. That's something that we saw last week with like Ronaldo. If it's just a Mertens SBC today and there's not a lot of content and there's a big sell-off heading into the 6 p.m. time frame today on Saturday, 
Uh, one thing that I would be looking out for would be a bounce back on some of your rare cards that people like to use, like a Kunde, uh, this Rashford, of course. I think Rashford is very cheap because, or sorry, not very cheap. I think Rashford's a little bit more cheap than he would be if Vinny wasn't a thing this year and if Christian Pulisic was not dropped yesterday. But like, I don't know who's using this Rashford. He got a massive upgrade and it's just like, okay, Rashford got a nice special card. Um, and it doesn't feel that useful, even though it got a really big upgrade and he has five star skills. It's like, hmm, because you're not really using this card. Maybe you try him out, but it doesn't feel like it gets the kids all hyped, right? That's what we usually say. So I'm curious to see how the high pack weight impacts these cards this weekend. But since the pack weight is so high, I think it's going to drop them lower into the week. So just be careful if you're trying any of them. And we will see if we get that swaps or prime icon content this weekend, or if that's going to be kind of pushed off but i'd be surprised if we had a showdown for a game that is literally uh tomorrow on sunday because i feel like that is too short of a time frame for a big match with real madrid and atletico madrid we might not see that sbc today so that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace